and gentlemen, welcome to All or Nothing Games. This is Aeon with a new episode of our My Player series featuring the big man, Wayne Bow. Let's take a look what's coming up on the episode today. If you're loving the content, please like, subscribe and tell all your pals about it. Also, don't forget to click that wee bell for future video notifications. With that being said, it's time to sit back, relax and let's get going. Wayne and Hibbs are taking a one goal advantage that they secured in Switzerland into this game at Easter Road to try and secure a trip to the next round. We've got McLaren and up front we've got Boyle and Horgan on the wing, Slivka and Bo, midfield. There's that solid defence been playing so well and backed up by an awesome keeper in Bogdan. Let's see if we can get to the next round. Another glorious European night here at Easter Road. Hibs fans have come to expect big things from the home side here. Very, very solid in the group stage here at Easter Road. And now the Swiss side FC Basel come in needing to stay alive in this competition with at least a 1-0 win to take it to extra time. So, this is a big match. Can Hibs get through to the next round of the Europa League? The boys will be fired up for this in front of their home crowd. Let's see how they go. McLaren gets us underway back to Bartley. Wayne Bolt clips it back to Whitaker. Bringing it on, Wayne Bow shields it in the midfield, clips it up to Bartley, plays a long ball looking for Horgan, but it's intercepted, and we now have it with Fry or Basel. It was really quite a shock result in the first round there. The first leg. No one thought Hibbs would go and get the win in Switzerland. But they did, and they're in pole position here to go through. But the Swiss team will be very dangerous here. A wounded dog. Never underestimate them. Great ball through to Fry. He's clipped it through to Bua. And that is lovely defending there. Whitaker gets the vital touch. Clipped into McLaren. Takes it lovelyly on the... Lovelyly, is that even a word? On the chest. McLaren's put it in. Wayne Bow's there. And it's fired away by the defence. But him still have it. Aaron working his magic. They get a ball in. We're out here. Lincoln takes it off. Stevenson and the Swiss team come away with it. That's what it is. Wayne Bow picks up the rebound. He's on a wee run here. He's got lots of space ahead of him to work with. Is McLaren going to do a head on? And he runs right into Suchi. That's poor. Straight line running from Wayne. Runs right into the defender. Not what we need here. Xhaka has it on the left. Oh, like a sore one for Whitaker. Bit of ragdolling there. Xhaka puts the ball in. It's taken a deflection. It's still through to Jetty. Oh, no way. Oh, my goodness. I thought that was a penalty. What was that? A foul on Boyle. By Ajeti. That could have gone either way there. I think Hibbs could have got away with one there. They all came flying in. And the two players clashed, but the ref saw it in Boyle and Hibbs' favour. It's a very cagey half here. Neither team really asserting themselves in this game. See, the Swiss team have probably had the better of it. And there is half time, nil nil. Still pole position for Hibbs here to go through to the next round. He would love a goal just to make certain of that. Maybe that'll come in the second half. We are underway in the second half here. The Swiss team 
running out of time here to do anything. That's a great interception there, but he's given it away. Great play followed by poor play. That cannot happen. Frey clips it up to Bua. And that's lovely. Whitaker there, solid defender as always. Lovely ball out here to Slivka, who clips it on. We have Horgan out here. Can he find the clip ball in? And it's cleared out. It's a nice attack by Hibbs. First real decent attack of the game. Hartley picks it up. It's good, to, good play by Hibbs here, keeping control of that. Wayne Bowe loses it again. Come on, Wayne. This is not a performance we need from you. Ajeti has it. There's a man free in the middle. It's Bua. Back out to Xhaka, but it's a poor pass. That's been the story of this game. Mistakes, poor passes. And, yep, that's what I expected. Wayne trotting off, not had a good game. He's a bit knackered after his heroics against Hearts at the weekend. And Malin comes on to replace him. Malin out there. Good touch by Malin. He's breaking things up. It's into Frey, though. Ajeti. Good control on the edge of the box. Oh, and it's flashed wide. Don't know if Bogdan would have got there. It was a great shot. Good control at the edge of the box and the turning shot, and it was wide. It's a good ball to Ajeti. This is dangerous play. It's been forced wide by Porteous. Sticking with his man, and it's into Frey. Back to Ajeti again. Bogdan is there at his near post to pam it out for a corner kick. Swiss team are ramping it up here. They know this is their last chance saloon. This is the Alamo for the Swiss team. They've played a short one. Bua gets it over. Horgan heads it, away, heads it away. Can Stevenson get there in front of Zufi? No, he can't. Frey has it at the edge. He's clipped it over. That's too far. Straight into the goalkeeper's welcoming arms. Ten minutes to play here at Easter Road. At the moment, Hibs are going through. Bartley plays a long ball to McLaren, who lays it off. This is good play. Horgan has it just on the edge of the box. He's taking a deflection to Slivka. Can he finish? Oh, he's rifled it in, and that seals it. Hibs are going through to the next round. There is no road back for Basel here, and Slivka is the hero of the day. And it's well broken up, and Hibs are cruising. Now that's it. What a victory here. What a game. Hibs through to the next round of the Europa League with an 88th minute winner by Slivka. Sees them go through 2 0 on aggregate. Professional performance there by Hibs. Did what they needed to do, didn't concede, and got that late winner there. Not expecting good from Wayne. Not very good, 5.5, .5. not his usual standards, but he is very tired after the derby. There we have it. Confirmation that Hibs go through 2-0 on aggregate. This Hibs team is going from strength to strength in Europe, but look at those teams that are left. Massive teams in there. And is Wayne going to get in the match? He's a bit tired, he could do the rest, but he's in the starting lineup for the St Johnston match. Let's have a quick check and see who we are playing in the next round of the Europa League. International competitions, Europa League, knockout phase. Locomotive Moscow, not the trickiest of draw there. When you look at the team still in there, we'll take that any day. Hibs will be delighted with that draw. The home leg coming up first. Right, back to local duties here with a trip to Perth to face St. Johnston. Here we go. McLaren up front again. We like that, we like that. We've got Hindman as our midfield partner with Milligan as a defensive midfielder and a very settled back four there with Marciano coming in in goals. Here we are, McDermott Park. Hibs have travelled up to Perth after their midweek European heroics facing the Swiss team and defeating the Swiss team. It's back down to earth now with a tough match, a tricky away match against St Johnston here in the Ladbrokes Premiership. St Johnston get us underway. 
Anderson has it at the back, playing out to Foster. Kennedy on the right, plays a lovely ball into Watt. What is Watt going to do? This is a great start. Wayne's picked it up. Well taken on the run. Can he hold Kennedy off? No, he can't. Come on, Wayne. A little blip in form by Wayne. He's not been setting the world alight in these last two games. Got to do more. A little bit of fatigue creeping into his game. You can see that when he gets the ball. Witherspoon puts the ball in. What's there? But Ambrose challenges him. Wimbo puts it out to Boyle, gets it back. Morgan now on the left. Back to Stevenson, who finds McLaren. Oh, that could have been the opening goal there. Wayne gets into his favoured striking position just inside the 18-yard box. But he's put that one just wide. The goalkeeper was scrambling because he gets some power in those shots. Hibbs cannot afford to drop points in games like these if they want to stay in touch with the old firm at the top of the league. Hibbs, the only team that could be challenging the old firm this season so far. And if they're dropping points here in Perth, that is going to end swiftly. Tanser on the left. Wayne goes there. Read that pass well. He's played it out to Boyle. Boyle to McLaren. Stevenson. Patient build-up play. This is good. That's a poor ball. Where was that? Clash there, and that's a free kick to Hibbs. Tony Watt and Wayne Bow coming to blows. Boosh. Oh, that's a high boot in the stomach there. That could have been a card there. Tony, Tony, Tony. Nil nil half time. Pretty stale first half. That one chance for Wayne. And it ends nil nil here. Right, Hibs need to step up the intensity here. They need to do everything quicker. They need to do everything more accurately. It's into McLaren. Wainbow's gone ahead of him. He's clipped there. Come on, ref. Blow the whistle. Good. Tried to blow to play advantage. But it was a foul. And it's a Hibs free kick. And here we go. It's a great goal. It's Horgan. Blasts one in off the post to give Hibbs the lead. The small contingent of travelling fans are rapturous. Horgan, what a strike. Foster for Swanston. Kennedy's made a good run here. Still got a defender with him, though. He's got work to do. Foster has it on the right. Play the ball in. It's taken a deflection. And we have it out with Boyle now to McLaren. Oh, a crunching 50-50 there, but Wayne's come out the best, and the ball's through to McLaren. He's played, Wayne Bowe's played McLaren, and no, the run started too quickly. Come on, that's touch and go there. No, it's not. He's a mile offside. Come on, Wayne. Keep a hold of that ball, and come on, McLaren. Hold your run. And with that, Wayne is off. Wayne Bow was really getting a grips with that game again. The early crook from oh, that's a what a shot that could have been. He went for the Wayne Rooney. Oh, it's spinning back towards the goal. Goalkeeper still made a meal of it. What's Mel Carn going to do here? That was some. Bozo the clown play by St Johnston there, but they got away with it. Easton and Tanzer exchange good passes on the left. Easton gets it in, back out to Tanzer, the volleyed cross, and it's what? But Ambrose is there, like his shadow, not giving him an inch. And Hibbs emerge with just minutes to play here. Up to McLaren, he's holding it up against two defenders. He really should have got rid of that ball to another Hibbs player. This could be the last attack of the game. Watt plays it back. And that's it. No time left. Hibbs get there and get out with the 1-0 win. Horgan with the victorious 
celebrations there after he gave his team the victory on 57 minutes. St Johnston had the possession, but they did not have the goals. 1-0 to Hibbs. 7.5 for Horgan with that good goal. Wayne Bow was playing well. Pulled early because he was tired. But we'll be happy with a 6.5 there. Now we've got to keep an eye on the other results. Rangers in particular, a draw for Rangers. So that's points made up there. Celtic, a draw there. Favourable results for Hibs here. They're on 53 points. Eight points behind Rangers. Long way behind Celtic, but Rangers, that's who we're on the hunt for. That's who we're gunning for. Second place in the Ladbrokes Premiership. OK, a visit from Livingston coming up and Wayne's in the starting lineup. Hibs on a winning streak. Can they maintain that against the, this Livingston team who are not on form this season? Rock bottom of the league. Should be a foregone conclusion here, but you never know in this league. You just never know. Shaw. The young lad starting up front. Give him a chance. Give McLaren a rest. No rest for Wayne Bow, though he's in there in the engine room of this Hibs team. Let's get to Easter Road. A grey, gloomy day here at Easter Road with Livingston coming to calling. Hibs scraping by against St Johnston and Perth in the last match. They'll want a more comfortable victory, a more comfortable performance this time. Something for the fans to get behind here in this packed stadium in Edinburgh. And away we go. Hibbs shooting from left to right here. The long ball looking for Horgan, the hero of last game. And that will be a Livingston throw. Pittman has it for Livingston. He's got a bit of pace out here. Wayne Bow intercepts that, but it's taken away by Menga. Illegally so. Wayne's been getting kicked recently. You know he's the heartbeat of this team. When he's on form, the team's on form. And the teams have cottoned on to that, and they're trying to disrupt play by giving Wayne a few solid ones. And he gets it back. Can he get a ball over? Wayne throws himself at the ball there. He's bumped by the defender. And he, that's a free kick there. Very physical match here so far. Smashed. Long ball out for Horgan again. He's the outlet today. Pittman plays it into Menga. Menga gets it through to Miller, but it's intercepted here. This is good swift passing here. And we're out. It's Wayne Bow. And he's slotted that home. Finishes with a plum there. Delightful goal there. Slipped in by Malin. And he finishes with the accuracy we've come to expect of the young man. Delighted with that goal. Wayne continues his run. Right through the middle of the defence. And compose finish into the side netting. Lovely through ball. Well weighted. And Wayne knows where the goal is. Sometimes a goal against them can energise a team and trigger... Better play. It looks like Livingston are getting a grip here. Miller gets the header on, but it's straight to Bogdan. I will have to be wary of this Livingston team. It's aimed up at Horgan, who gets a great pass out. Wayne spots the run of Malin again. Oh, he gets in through, but the touch on the ball just before he shot... Stopped Wayne from getting his second of the game there. This is good play by Hibbs, though. The back heel to Horgan. He plays it right back out to the wing. Wayne Bow's got it. Ah, 
and it's through Horgan gets the shot but it's deflected again that was Shaw actually Hibbs keeping possession well no one could get the ball off them and the final shot was blocked wide for a corner kick Angus continued his run a good flick by Miller Miller's made it it's hit the post and Hibbs breathe again a good ball out to Horgan there. Wayne Bowes through the middle. He's played in Malin. Can Malin finish? He can. What a counter attack. It looked like it was going in at the other end, and Hibbs have turned it around. Malin scores the second of the day. An assist for Wayne Bow, and it's Hibbs two. Livingston one. Great composure on the ball by Wayne. He had the goal beckoning, but he chose to play in his teammate who finishes with aplomb. This Livingston team sinking without a trace in this first half. Just when they thought they might get back in, they hit the post. And then the dagger blow from the counter-attack sees Hibbs going ahead 2-0 at the break here. Will there be any fight back from Livingston in this half? Hibbs will be looking to close the door immediately. Pittman plays it into Lawless. Lawless has got some space. He's clipped it back to Menga. And Menga makes no mistake with a rifle finish past Bogdan. There is a lifeline here for Livingston. 2-1. We could be in for an nervy finish here. Robinson picks it up. Plays out to Lawless who made things happen for that last goal. Livingston coming back here. And it's a ball through to Pittman. He's surrounded. And Ambrose steps in and does what he does. Breaks up the play there. Great tackle. Lawless. Plays it into Menga. Wayne Bow takes it away from him but loses the ball. Not a foul. Good challenge. And Robinson's played in here. He's at the edge of the box. Good skills. Plays it into Miller who keeps it going. And the Hibs defenders throw their bodies in the way. That was goal bound. And Menga's left frustrated by some solid defending there by Hibbs. But the play before that was scintillating by Livingston. We're into injury time though. They could have run out, they could have run out of time and they have. That Menga goal in the second half was not enough to bring Livingston back. And it's Hibbs 2, Livingston 1. Final score here at Easter Road. Hibbs really put under the caution that second half. Livingston will feel they could have come away with a point. At least a point there, but Hibbs victorious from their first half performance. Malin, great game there. Played well with Wayne Bow there. They linked up well with each other, created and scored a goal each. Celtic thumping Hamilton and Rangers beating St Johnston. So we are as we are in the table. Right, next episode will involve the European matches against Lokomotiv. Massive games for Hibs. Excited to get there. We'll see you next time.